main event of the evening, the Warrior Fight Series Heavy Heavyweight Championship. Let's get ready for war. Please welcome, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist who is 33 years old and is standing six feet two inches tall. He weighed in at 109 kilograms and has a fight record of 10 wins and four losses. Hailing from Stargard in Poland, Lukasz Pariowicz. So Chris, it's the big heavyweights for the heavyweight title and Lukasz Parobic coming to the cage first, 33 years of age, six foot two, 10 wins, only four losses. This is a big, big man. This Polish superstar is a terrifying unit of a fighter. He is a true specimen. And more importantly, he has a 100% finish rate at heavyweight, rank 13. He technically has finished every single fighter, I believe hitting submissions on top, off his back, TKOs, KOs, and every single one of them has been in the first or second round, Malcolm. This guy is perhaps the nightmare's nightmare. Chris, and we look at that record, it says 10 and four, but only one loss, I think, in, in his last 11 fights, isn't it? It's, he's on a real run, apart from the one blip. Yeah, he lost to Phil DeFries, you know, who's one of the UK's very best fighters. Um, but he's been on an absolute run, literally finishing guys. It's been tough to get him matches, but Harry Shubridge and the rest of the team have tried to bring in the very best fighters here for the heavyweight championship. And please and welcome Karobic his opponent to the arrived. blue corner. A mixed martial artist who is 32 years old. He stands six feet, six inches tall and weighed in at 115 kilograms. He has a record of five wins and three losses and hails from Bexley in England. Mike, the Nightmare no! So Chris, here he comes, Mike, the Nightmare Noon. And now he's at heavyweight. Now after Warrior Fight Series 1, where it was a bit controversial, it was a great fight. We're not surprised he's now stepped up to heavyweight, are we? Indeed, Malcolm. He's six foot six. I mean, he's a real life Goliath. Uh, Mike Noon wanted to make sure he'd be able to make weight a little bit more comfortably. He's arisen to the challenge. He stepped up to fight for the title. Obviously, he beat a very highly ranked fighter in Lloyd Clarkson at Warrior Fight Series 1. And what was a scary, scary fight. Both fighters exchanging at close range, lots of elbows, blood everywhere. It was madness. But Mike is confident tonight that he's come in and wants to fight the very best in the world here in the Warrior Fight Series Heavyweight Championship. And heavyweight, the right decision. Now you're sure of that, Chris. It's yeah. a, I mean, let's get this straight. The first fight is going up to heavyweight. You've just explained this opponent is explosive. Yeah, he's terror. I mean, he, he is so fast, Lukas Perovic is. Uh, he's been literally running through guys, but Mike said, look, you know, he talked to the team, he talked to the promotion, he said, I want a real challenge. I'm a real martial artist. I embrace that challenge. He's fought in all different styles. He's got pro Muay Thai experience, trains with some of the very best in the UK today. Mike Noon is ready for this. You know, they call him the nightmare. Like I said, Perovic might be his nightmare. It will certainly be his toughest test yet. But what Mike brings to the table is a very cerebral approach to the sport. He's a real thinking man. Uh, he's always learning and he loves it. Uh, this is gonna be a spectacular display here and a fitting, fitting heavyweight matchup in the Warrior Fight Series. Yes, the, the, the top of the bill here and, and the, the crowd's anticipation here tonight reflects that. There's something about the big men, isn't there, Chris? It's as simple as that. Yeah, there's an army here. They've got axes and spears and all sorts of props. They're jumping up and down behind the tables just behind us here. Ladies and gents, this is the main event of the evening, the Warrior Fight Series Heavyweight Championship between the man standing on my left, hailing from Stargard, Poland, Lukasz Pariowicz. And the man standing to my right, hailing from Bexley in England, Mike, the Nightmare. No! 
Fighters to the centre, please. Hey, James, I expect you to protect yourselves at all times. I know it's flat times. You keep fighting until I tell you to stop. Touch gloves, step back, come out fight. So, Lucas Perovic, 33 years old, four inches shorter than his opponent, even at six foot two, but with that incredible explosive finishing record. Mike Noon, 32 years of age, one year younger, six foot six. And it's happening right now. I got goosebumps, Malcolm. As both fighters touch gloves, Perovic connecting with that left straight. Oh, he's already set out his stall, Chris, and warned Noon. That left came straight through. Big shots, but a lovely clinch from Noon with a right knee coming up at Perovic with lethal intent behind that left hook. It's the right tactic from Noon, get those big knees in because you can already see the hands of Perovic are very, very dangerous. Noon's gotta move that head, man. Perovic is head hunting, eats an inside leg kick, but a beautiful counter from Noon going to the outside with that right body kick. For me, that's what Noon needs, more kicks, more, let's slow this man down with those heavy hands. And nearly caught that head kick just there as Perovic blitzes in, leading with a front push kick. Noon's on the offensive and stalking once more. Use that lead leg, chop away at Perovic because he's already shown how dangerous he is at close range. Yeah. Don't let him there, don't let him there because he is powerful and for a big man, look at that, he's fast as well, Chris. Wow, serious. Oh my goodness. Oh my, Perovic, like a steam train right into mount, raining down death from above as Mike Noon looking to hip escape here, look for him to post both of those arms on Perovic's hips and create space. He has got to get out of here. It's early days and he's in trouble. Oh, Perobrich is, is heavy on him though and looking for those big downward shots. All set up from those fast hands when he's upright. The referee looking very closely here. Oh my goodness, and it's all over. TKO victory on your new heavyweight warrior fight series champion, Lukas Perobrich. And Chris, you can see why he's a finisher. Straight punches, fast hands, consistent, keeps going. For me, Mike News one chance was what he was trying to do, those legs. Keep him at that leg range. Keep him at, you're, you're six foot six. Keep him away, chop away at the legs. Because when this man gets close, he's the true definition of a finisher. He's very deceptive, he's very unassuming. If you saw him at the weigh-ins, he's very quiet. You'll see the pictures. He's the type of guy who does his talking in the ring, and he did just that, delivering a statement. Oh, he shouted tonight, Chris. He's become the champion. He's taken the heavyweight title against, as you said, a very big, very strong man. New tried to fight the right fight, but when this man gets inside, boy, does he finish. Yeah, make no mistake about it, Noon will be back. He's a very skilled martial artist, and a good show of sportsmanship as the two embraced here previously, but Perovic proving to be just a bit too much tonight, and a spectacular finish. Ladies and gents, the referee has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 24 seconds of the first round. A winner via TKO, and now Warrior Fight Series, Heavyweight champion, Lucas Pariovic! <laughs> Ladies and gents, can you please also put your hands together for his opponent, Mike Noon! All right, I'm here with your new heavyweight professional warrior fight series champ, Lukas Parovic. Lukas, there is indeed a lot of hype in going into this fight. You came in, as well as Mike, with strong professional records and being top UK fighters. How are you feeling now after winning this championship belt? And give us your thoughts on the fight tonight. Right, I, feel, I feel great. I work very hard to get it, and uh, I come with big respect to Mike. Uh, I want to check myself, and I just check myself, and it's constantly that. Obviously, the fight was very, very fast. Were you surprised at how things went when you got on mount and maintained punching? It took some time, and Mike is a very tough opponent. Actually, I work on that. I work on fast game. Fast, fast start, and that, that was my game today. Actually, that's what I was going for. Lucas, you have a very strong record, as I said, and now you are a champion. What are you going to do next with this belt? And tell us what you're hoping to achieve here in the Warrior Fight Series. I would like to fight with the best in the UK for this title. 
Uh, it depends on Harry, who can, who, which fighter he wants to fight me over here, actually. I can fight everyone. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your new Warrior Fight Series heavyweight champion, Lukas Perovic. So, Chris, Warrior Fight Series 1 was good. Warrior Fight Series tonight, number two, was incredible. I can't wait for what they've got in store for us for Warrior Fight Series 3. Ladies and gentlemen, follow us on warriorfightseries.com and check out the tickets, follow the fight news, and most importantly, we look forward to seeing you at Warrior Fight Series 3.